Dear viewers, welcome back to our channel. The automotive industry is currently experiencing a proliferation of technologies, making it dazzlingly diverse. Recently, Huawei has unveiled an exciting technological breakthrough, an automotive solid-state battery with a range of up to 1,300 kilometers. Meanwhile, during this period, BYD has also introduced the fifth-generation DMI system, capable of running nearly 2,000 kilometers on a full tank and charge. In today's competitive automotive industry, the rapid development of technology presents us with many choices. Huawei's solid-state battery and BYD's fifth-generation DMI system are undoubtedly the leading technological giants of the future. However, amidst the competition between pure electric and hybrid vehicles, how should we choose? Who will emerge as the future king in this technological battle has become a highly anticipated focal point, including, 1. Given the ongoing need for time to build charging stations, how will pure electric vehicles cope with the challenge of insufficient charging infrastructure? Are there alternative solutions to address this issue? 2. With the continuous advancement of technology, can pure electric vehicles overcome the advantages of hybrid vehicles in long-distance travel and urgent situations in the future? What new technological developments can we expect? Point 3. Despite the competitive edge of gasoline-powered vehicles under environmental pressure, how will the future automotive market balance the relationship between electric and gasoline-powered vehicles to meet the needs of different users? How will electric and gasoline-powered vehicles evolve together to adapt to the constantly changing market demands, O oh, improve the range and charging efficiency of pure electric vehicles? Indeed, when facing the choice between pure electric vehicles or hybrid models, have we already pronounced the demise of gasoline-powered cars too early? This decision is not without complexity. Despite the remarkable progress in battery technology and range, why not fully embrace electrification? Electric vehicles, with their environmental friendliness and zero emissions, are undoubtedly eagerly anticipated for the future. However, practical considerations still exist. The widespread deployment of electric vehicle charging facilities will take time. While charging stations are becoming more prevalent in major cities, making it convenient for residents, Imagine traveling to remote areas and finding charging stations scarce, causing inevitable anxiety. At such times, traditional gasoline-powered cars become particularly important as they can provide longer driving ranges and gas stations are almost ubiquitous. Hybrid vehicles combine the advantages of both power modes. Undoubtedly, electric vehicles have made significant progress in range. However, in certain situations, the assistance of a gasoline engine remains indispensable. For example, during long-distance travel, not having to stop frequently for charging and being able to continue the journey with just a refuel, or when there is an urgent need to reach a certain destination, the quick charging of electric vehicles may not keep up with our sense of urgency. For such demands, hybrid models become the optimal solution as they can adapt to daily city driving while easily meeting the long-distance travel needs across different regions. So, where exactly are gasoline-powered cars heading? It is premature to say they are on a dead-end path. After all, automotive technology is constantly advancing, and gasoline engines are also being improved and upgraded. Like an old ox transforming into a super-warrior, the improved fuel efficiency and performance of gasoline cars remain unmatched. Undoubtedly, electric vehicles are the future trend, and gasoline-powered cars will gradually face market pressure. However, during the transition period, we still need gasoline-powered cars as a bridge to facilitate our travel, especially considering the vast geography of our country and the time needed for infrastructure construction. Hybrid models, as a transitional technology, combine the advantages of gasoline and electric vehicles, making them highly competitive in the current stage. Ultimately, the choice for consumers will be influenced by various factors, including economic considerations, environmental awareness, 
personal preferences, regional policies, etc. The more diverse types of vehicles available in the market, the richer the choices for consumers, which is beneficial for driving innovation and development throughout the industry. Whether pure electric, hybrid, or traditional gasoline-powered vehicles, they all provide solutions for our travel needs while continuously mutually promoting and learning from each other. With the continuous advancement of technology and the natural selection of the market, we have reason to believe that future transportation will be more intelligent, environmentally friendly, and personalized. Before all of this happens, each of us has the opportunity to witness and participate in this transformation, shaping a more diverse, convenient, and sustainable future of travel. Finally, I summarize today's video, hoping it brings you some inspiration and value. As a seasoned blogger, I am excited about the competition and innovation in automotive technology, but I also have some concerns. Firstly, more investment and faster progress are needed in building charging infrastructure to meet the growing demand for electric vehicles. Secondly, despite the continuous improvement in the range of electric vehicles, there are still challenges in long-distance travel and urgent situations, requiring more technological breakthroughs and solutions. Finally, the automotive market needs to find a balance between electric and gasoline-powered vehicles to meet the needs of different users. I suggest that automobile manufacturers and government departments strengthen cooperation to promote the construction of charging infrastructure and continuously promote innovation in automotive technology to achieve sustainable development of the automotive industry. Welcome to share your thoughts in the comments section. Today's video ends here, see you next time with more exciting content. Goodbye.